you are given the function j of x equals negative 8x to the 8th plus 5x to the 4th minus 4x squared. What is the end behavior of function j in limit notation? Well, in this case, the limit notation looks a little weird. Didn't even do that. It looks a little weird because, you know, I, I created this using chat GPT. And the way that they do it is instead of writing out the limit as x approaches infinity, uh, they have it like on the bottom right corner here. It's all good. It doesn't really matter. What matters is we need to find the limit notation of something like this. Now, this produces a graph. This is also a non-calculator section, so I'm not allowed to graph this. And if you're like, oh, what the heck does this graph look like? Whenever you're wondering what a graph looks like, this is what you do. You take a look at the leading term. Okay, the leading term is the term with the greatest degree attached to a variable, and that would be you. Your x to the 8th, you are an even exponent, not an even function, although this is, but it's an even exponent. Now, when it's an even exponent, the graph is either going to look like this or look like this. Okay, and of course, these, you know, little hoops and whatever are dependent on that number there, but I really don't care about what's going on the inside. It's the outside, which is the opposite of what we were told as children, that it's the inside that counts. Not for this problem, friends. We care about the outside. Now, the other thing that we need to look at is not the eight. I don't care about this eight right here. I care about that negative. Any even function that has a positive positive, positive leading term is going to go up as it moves to the left and up as it moves to the right. Well, if it's a negative leading term, it's going to look like U, which means as I move to the left, as the limit approaches negative infinity, we are also going downward, which means it's going towards negative infinity. And in this case, as I move to the right side without bound, or as the x values increase, or as x approaches infinity, we are also moving downward, which means we're also approaching negative infinity. So the limit as x approaches negative infinity of j of x, and the limit as x approaches positive of uh, j of x, infinity of j of x, is also going to be negative infinity. So we need the ones with those negative infinities, and there you are, it's A. If this was an odd problem, then it would be like that or that, uh, <laughs> depending on, you know, if you're positive or negative. But that's not we have. That's not at all what we have. Oh, I kind of trailed off with there with my grammar at the end. Either way, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.